So when we arrived, I bought two tickets for 100 baht. One was for the show here at the planetarium and the other one is for the science education center. So uh, let's go and show you how that looks on the inside. A good morning. I'm here at the Ekamai BTS station and I've been giving you guys updates regarding all the new things that are going on in Bangkok. But there are actually really cool places that already exist for a little while and we are on our way now to the Bangkok Planetarium and Observatory which is in the Science Center for Education which is right here next to the station. I'm also going to show you a bit around the area here. There is a new mall here called the Ekamai Corner. I already gave an update a couple of months ago and we're gonna go and have a quick look at the Gateway Mall, which is here as well. So let's go to the planetarium. We're actually in the start of the raining season here in Bangkok, so I also wanted to show you something that you can do that is covered up and you don't have to worry about the weather. Let's go. As always, I'm using my rabbit cart And to get to the planetarium, you have to take exit number two. There's actually a skywalk that you can walk through, but there is no exit from there. So uh, let's go down here. If you're in a hurry, you can also take the motorcycle taxis from here, but it's just a few minutes walk. So uh, we are just gonna walk in there. Here we are in front of the Bangkok Eastern Bus Terminal and from here you can take the buses towards Patia and Kochan. So if you are traveling and you are taking the bus it's actually very easy to combine it with a trip to the planetarium and there is something else here that you can try as well. Here we have the Pet Mart which is the famous restaurant from Mark Wiens. But we are not here for Mark Wiens' restaurant. We are moving on towards the planetarium. As you can see, this is always packed. See, there's even a line outside here. So let's move on to the planetarium. It's only 100 meters from here. If you arrive here with the bus, you can eat at Mark's place and then you can also go to the planetarium. We are just in time for the exhibition in the planetarium and they're actually changing the exhibitions every two months so this is uh, to keep it interesting so let's go okay As you can hear, all the explanations are in Thai. They write everything in English as well. So. So 
there are a couple of vintage planes in here. This looks really cool. And I would say this is a DC 305. I'm not sure about the number. And this is a warplane from the 1950s or 60s, I guess. My guess would be a saber. I will actually go and look that up. There is an Air Force Museum as well here in Bangkok and I haven't been there yet and I'm definitely gonna visit that. Actually, while I'm here I do have to make plans to go there. So when we arrived I bought two tickets for 100 baht. One was for the show here at the planetarium and the other one is for the science education center. So uh, let's go and show you how that looks on the inside. So if you want to go only to the science center of education it's 50 baht. And this is a brilliant museum if you want to come with your kids. And this is exactly what it says. A learning center. And here on the top floor, you have the electric city. A nice way of playing with words. And this is all about electricity. Edison, Ohm, Tesla. And like I said, this is perfect to come with the kids. There's a lot of experiments that they can do, a lot they can learn. I thought the electric city was already the end of the exhibition, but there was one more floor here. So this is the secret of life floor, all about biology. Yeah, just a very cool, easy museum to go to. You can just go to the Ekamai BTS station, take exit number two, walk here. But in the beginning of the video, I already promised that I'm gonna show you the Gateway Mall. So let's first have a look here at the Ekamai corner. And this is part of the Apex Tower. And if you know Bangkok, there used to be a very nice street restaurant here on the corner. They closed it down a couple of years ago and then this was an empty plot for a while and now there is a new office building. And many of the office buildings have restaurants inside as well so they already have the coffee shops in here. There are two floors of restaurants and this is one of my favorite restaurants here in Bangkok with Piri Piri. I understand from people that are from England that Nando's is very similar. So there are still a couple of restaurants on the construction. Yeah, and here from the building you have a direct access to the Ekamai BTS station through the sky bridge. And 
there across the street you have the Gateway Mall. Right next to the Ekamai station you also find the Sukhumvit Hospital. And here you have the Wat Ekamai beautiful temple and they got a new roof on the jetty a couple of years ago. So let's go to the Gateway Mall. And Ekamai is an area that is very popular with the Japanese community in Bangkok and you will see a lot of Japanese restaurants in here and Japanese shops the Japanese gate here at the entrance there's always a little market here on the ground floor. And what I mentioned, many restaurants here. And this is the function of the malls in Bangkok. It's basically the city center. There is a big harbor land on the top floor and that's a kids playground. So actually Ekamai is a really good location if you live in Bangkok, if you want to do something with the family during the weekend. Here on the third floor they created this kind of co-working space. You can just come here and sit and relax. And then on the fourth floor you have the food lounge where you can get affordable food you know that's one of the things that I really like about the Bangkok malls most of the malls have a food court or a food lounge where you can get really cheap food and this is basically used to attract customers and I hope many people that come and eat here will go shop as well and this is all renovated haven't seen this like this before it looks really nice so here you have all the Thai restaurants. You can get your meals for 60, 70 baht. So again, if you arrive at the bus station or you're on your way to the eastern provinces, you can come here and eat. So, outside, in the warmth again. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this update regarding the Science Education Center here at the Ekamai BTS station and a little bit about the Gateway Mall and what's going on around Ekamai. If you enjoyed it, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...